In this video, we're going to take a close look at our acquisition reports in Google Analytics. And if you're a marketer, you're going to love this because our acquisition reports allows us to compare the performance of different marketing channels and enables us to really discover which marketing channel is performing the best. And then we can maybe focus in on that in order to grow our business. So to get started, come across into the sidebar and let's take a look at the source medium report. Now in this report, you're going to see the source of traffic. So the individual website like google.com, youtube.com, and then the medium is really the way that they came from that website to our site. So we can see here that they arrived organically. So maybe they just clicked on a search result on google.com. And that is different to maybe arriving, if I add another row here, through CPC or a cost per click. So that would have been an ad. So in this scenario, we've got people arriving organically, which makes up the largest amount of our users to the site over the date range that we've set. Um, but they can also arrive via ads here. So that's why there is a distinction not only between the source of the traffic, but all the, also the medium of the traffic as well. And that's important to know because we could be sending users from one source in multiple different ways, organically through content that we create or via advertisements. So if we look at this data table, we can see really the marketing channels that are sending us the most amount of users over our date range. And as we said, we can see that a lot of them, 36% of them, are coming through Google Organic. So that means that we're doing a pretty good job on our SEO, but uh, users alone is not necessarily the best indicator of the quality of that traffic. And we really want to have quality traffic that is resulting in conversions for the goals that we've set up. And that could be signups to an email list or it could be checkouts from our online store. A great indicator of the quality of our traffic is bounce rate. So if we come across to the site comparison feature here, we have all the sources and mediums of our traffic and we can uh, really compare the bounce rate of uh, the sources of traffic compared to the site average. And this will really give us that indication of the quality of the traffic. So we can see here from this particular source and medium that the bounce rate is very high compared to the site average. So maybe we'd want to have a look at how people are coming uh, from, that, from that website and make sure that they're landing on pages that might be more relevant to, to them. For example, here, looking at our Google Organic, we can see that people coming organically from the search engines are landing on very relevant pages because you can see that there is a very low bounce rate compared to the site average. As well as looking at the bounce rate as an indicator, if you've got your goals set up, you can actually look at the contribution to actual revenue uh, that you have set up here. So as well as maybe goal completions, if you've got revenue set up, uh, then you can see the actual contribution of each channel to the revenue that's been driven uh, over the last uh, seven days or the time frame that you've set up here. Now, as well as looking at the source medium report, we can actually go in and look at our referrals report to see those exact sites that have uh, referred us traffic or sent visitors from their website to our website. And if we click in here into the source, we can actually see the individual pages on that website that are sending us traffic, which is really interesting to know because we know exactly where they have linked to our website. And if we want to even see which page on our website they are linking to, we can add a secondary dimension of a landing page. And so now what we can see in this report is that they are linking from this page on their website to this page on our website. And we can really see the con connection that they made and maybe we could encourage them to do more of that or make sure that we are really uh, have the best page there that we could for that particular link that they're sending over to us. 
So it's just really interesting to know where they're actually sending us traffic from and to so that we can continue to try and develop more of those types of referrals from other websites or from that individual site. Now looking up at our uh, acquisition overview report, we can get a high level summary of really the different groupings of the traffic so we can see organic search, direct referral, social, affiliates paid search, and display. And this gives us that high level overview and pie chart of the split in our different uh, channel groupings. So what we would maybe want to ask ourselves and have a quick glance at is, okay, we're getting a lot of traffic from organic search. Maybe we should continue to do that. And really what we want to ask ourselves is based on the investment that we are putting into these channels, which one is paying off the best? Maybe we've got a full-time person on social and that's not leading to a, a lot of traffic or sales. Maybe we might reduce that and put some more working on organic search if that is working well. So now that you know how to get insights out of your acquisition reports, maybe come into your source medium report and have a look at the quality of your traffic by doing that site comparison based on the bounce rate.